Hey everybody, my name is Cap and welcome back to CapTech. When it comes to extending your network and internet usage to the outer reaches of your house and office, there's not a whole lot of options you have. Most people will go the easy route and that's just setting up a wireless router. But the problem is that once you start getting a certain range outside of the wireless router, the weaker the signal is and the less likely chance you are to have a solid steady connection. Or if you happen to be going between multiple floors in your house or you have a lot of walls separating you between the room you're in and where your router is placed, you might have an opportunity to completely lose your signal. And if you're using something like Netflix or streaming video or playing online gaming, our wireless signal is just not strong enough or consistent enough to be a viable connection there. So what other options do you have? An alternative that a lot of people look into is to having Ethernet cable run throughout their house. But the problem is that if you don't know how to do it yourself, it can get quite costly paying for another company to come out and run cable through your walls and through your attic and punch down ports in each and individual room. And of course, once you do that, the setup is pretty much permanent. You can't just move from room to room should you decide to change your layout. Oh, I need to have it move from this wall to this wall. So it's not very good for a long-term situation. For businesses, maybe so because it's a little Bit more consistent but for home users chances are it's really not the best option so the option I want to talk to you guys today about is called a Powerline Ethernet Adapter. And I'm showing you the Cisco PLE400 and the PLS400. These are Linksys, which is owned by Cisco. These are the ones I currently use, the ones you see in the picture here. Now these particular switches have a maximum throughput or bandwidth of 200 megabits per second over the power line that connectivity. But that's fine for my personal house. I use it for online gaming, streaming Netflix, that sort of thing throughout the house and I've never seen any kind of problems. Now they do make some that go all the way up to gigabit so if you're interested in those of course you can research them but I'm just reviewing these specific ones because they work for me. The PLE model only has just the single port as you can see on the left side versus the PLS model has the four ports which has built in switching capabilities allowing you to connect more than one device. For my household the way I have it set up here I need the one with multiple switches here. I can set up multiple devices such as my gaming systems, plug in my TV and whatnot. but if you only need one device plugged in then you can just get two of the devices on the left. Setting these up is really simple. You start off, just find an electrical outlet near where your modem or your router comes in, take the PLE400 and plug it into the wall, and you'll see it'll go through and cycle and connect itself and give it a solid power light. Then plug one end of an ethernet cable into the back of your router or your modem so that it is nice and connected. And then plug the other end of the ethernet cable into the device that you just plugged into the wall. And once it's actually connected, you'll see it will light up with an ethernet link to let you know that it is receiving a connection from your router or your modem. And then on the receiving end, wherever you're going to put the actual second device in, you plug it into the wall just like normal. It will go through, power cycle, give you a solid green light to let you know it's okay. And it will also light up to let you know it's receiving an ethernet connection from the other device. Now you are ready to plug in your next actual device, whether it's your laptop, your TV, your gaming systems, whichever device you might want to use. You plug it in and you'll see the green Ethernet light blinking indicate that traffic is actually coming back and forth. Now some of you may be saying, well Cap, what if you happen to live in an apartment building where you have shared electrical lines throughout the building or you work in an office building and you don't want your network connections being broadcast all over the office? Well, like all home plug devices, these two devices come with 128-bit AES encryption enabled by default. And they all use the same default key for each one of these, so it's literally plug and play. But you can see on this picture here, they also have buttons that you can use to set a different code. Setting the code works like setting up a, a WPS connection for your Wi-Fi. You press the button on one end until the LED starts blinking, the LED light. And then you have about two minutes to press the button on the second device and it'll match and sync itself up with a default key so that only the two devices that share the same key can share the same data. Now, if you really want to set the security on it, you can also use a program, a utility program that comes along with these, the Cisco Powerline AV Utility. Oftentimes it doesn't ship within the product, like in the box itself, but you can download it for free from the website. Now, sometimes just so you know, the software requires the WinP cap um, installer that goes along with it but it always includes that in the cases that I've tested it with and that will allow you to open up a copy of the utility software here and manually set the keys so that only your devices talk to your other devices and you don't have to worry about somebody else just randomly buying one of these plug it into the wall and stealing your connection 
Pricing for the Linksys brand of these power line adapters is about middle of the road. You can find some that are a whole lot more expensive and you can find some that are less expensive. It just kind of depends on if you have brand preference or any additional features they may have. But for the ones that I'm using here, the PLE 400. Now you can buy a kit of just two PLE 400s, which is just one port to one port. And you can see here that on Amazon, it's $58.95 for a kit of two and all the stuff that comes with it. But you can see the kit that I ordered, the uh, four port along with it, the PLS 400, was only a dollar more for a four port switch instead of just having two one port switches. Me personally, that is a whole lot better option, gives you way more scalability so that you're not looking down the road and be like, well, now all of a sudden I need to have a switch. Now they do have a one port wireless range extender that you can look into. That's an entirely different product review. I'm not going to get into that specifically because this is just wall to wall, but you can see here they do have it on the same site too. And of course, I'll link this in the video description below if you want to go check it out, possibly look into ordering it for yourself. So there you have it, an easy, viable portable way to set up and transfer internet connection to amongst the different rooms of your house or business. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, do me a favor and hit the thumbs up down below and subscribe so you don't miss out on any further videos. Thank you guys so much for your time. You guys have a good day and I will talk to you later.